everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make a water lily flower on a lily pad inspired by Claude Monet's water garden where he has painted many pictures of the water lilies. Um, he would actually go out into the pond on a boat to get up close to them to paint pictures of them and sometimes he'd paint them really close up, other times he'd paint the whole water garden from far away and you could see groups of them. But when we create this, um, I'm gonna show you how to make it with Mono Magic. If you don't have Mono Magic, you can certainly use Play-Doh or you can make some air dry clay at home. There's lots of recipes online you can look at. Um, and if you only have white, that's fine. If you have white Mono Magic, that's great. We can color it with markers. If you only have white and you wanna make it with white, that's fine too, not a big deal if you don't wanna worry about the colors. So when you get started, you want two, I call them kiwi-sized pieces here. Um, and then you're also going to want something that's close to grape sized for the yellow for the center of the flower, the, the stamen. Um, when you make the flower, obviously you can see it comes in white. Um, it comes in a lot of different colors though. Pink is the most common, but it also comes in a lot of warm colors like magenta violets, um, oranges, yellows. You can see it in those colors as well. So um, whatever color you want that part to be is up to you. Uh, typically they don't come in blue, so I would not recommend the blue. So if I'm going to make a color because all I have is white, then you just need kind of a washable marker and you can add that color in. Um, the more obviously you add in, the better it's going to be because it's mixing with white, so it's going to be lighter than it looks on the marker. So if I'm going to do pink, a lot of times I'll add it. I'm going to move this up out of the way and then I will fold it and add it again. Just kind of keep folding and adding until I've got some layers in there and then it's pretty easy to mix up after you've got that done all right so I'm gonna do one more layer here kind of get this made up and I've already got my other colors ready so I have my green for my lily pad and the yellow for the stamen so I'm just kind of pushing my thumbs into it kind of pushing it in and rolling it in and then pushing with the thumbs and it mixes it up pretty fast so I've got a pretty light pink here and that'll work just fine. All right, so when you get started, make the lily pad first. So when you wanna make the lily pad, you're going to wanna make sure you have a pair of scissors and a pencil because those tools are gonna to help you make the lily pad. So when I make the lily pad, it's going to be a round shape, kind of like a, a circle shape here. And then we're gonna be cutting that piece out there and then adding the veins on using the side of the pencil. So when we get started, we want to give it some squishes to make sure it's softened up enough. If it's model magic, um, if it's Play-Doh, it's usually not such a big deal. And then once you've got it softened up a little bit, you're gonna wanna roll it in a ball, kind of a circle motion. And once you have that ball, you're gonna press it flat. And how big you get it is up to you, but I would not make it super thin because then it's really hard to work with. All right, so once you've done that, then you're gonna use your scissors and you are gonna cut out a triangle shape. And then you're gonna use the side of your pencil here and you want it to always line up with that little point right there where you made the cutout. So you're just gonna give it kind of a gentle press to make those veins in the lily pad. All right, so there is my lily pad. Now that I'm done with that, I'm gonna put it aside and I'm gonna start to make the flower. So you wanna, again, soften it up and then roll it in a ball. And then once you have a ball, you're gonna make a pinch pot. So you're gonna put your thumb inside like that and then you're gonna give it just some pinches, not too much, you don't want it real thin, just go around one time, kind of opens it up a little bit. Now you're gonna use your scissors and you are gonna snip, you don't wanna cut all the way down though, you're just gonna cut about halfway down. So you're gonna snip and you're gonna do that all the way around. And you'll notice that the distance between them is about the size of a finger. Once you've done that, you're gonna open this up a little bit more. So you've got all of them cut all the way around, so then you're gonna spread them out a little bit. Hopefully they didn't stick back together. 
if they do, you can just go back and kind of re-snip. So once you've got them spread apart a little bit better, then you are going to use your finger and your thumb and you're gonna squeeze to point, make them pointy. Like as you the shape, you can notice the petals are pointy there. So we're gonna pinch the sides together. We're not pinching the top and bottom. So it's important to remember you're pinching the sides. There. All right, now I'm gonna fix that one up a little bit. Once you've got that done, then you're ready to make the part for the middle. So this part's fairly easy. You're just gonna roll a ball and then um, you can hold the ball and do this so it doesn't lose its shape, but you're just gonna kind of create that pollen texture effect on it. Just kind of keep jabbing the tip of the pencil in to give it that effect. And then you can kind of push it down on the flower. All right, and that creates that effect. And if you wanna do it while it's on the flower, you can do that too. You can see I can do it while it's on the flower as well. Okay, and then once you have that done, you pick kind of the spot where you want it to sit on the lily pad um, and then kind of give it a sort of a gentle kind of wiggle to get it to hold on. And you can see that way when it's done, it'll stay together. And there you have it. That's how you make the water lily and lily pad. All right, I hope you have fun.